What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to two more episodes of Honor Hunter. Episodes 80 and 81. Surprise Patreon people. Because I posted a schedule. If you're on YouTube, this is probably going to be posted two weeks after maybe I recorded it. But anyway, that's how far ahead we are on Patreon. That's incentive to sign up. Woohoo! Yay! Sorry. I have to self-promote. <laughs> um. Anyway. So, yeah, I posted a schedule for you guys on Patreon, uh, and I planned on doing this tomorrow, which would be Saturday. Today's Friday. Um, but I, I was talking about Hunter x Hunter with my brother, um, and it just put me in the mood to watch Hunter x Hunter. So, yeah, look at, we broke out the new shirt. Boy, I'll try to sit up more. Can you see it? Can you see everybody? Can you see my hair? Sorry. Can you see going in... Still, going in Killua. Oh yeah. Anyway, um. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Ooh, this shirt is like everything, dude. It's so awesome. It's so dope. Um. But yeah. So I was talking last time about how I think the king or queen. I don't know if the queen's even gonna be relevant or even a big character. But anyway, I don't know if the king is gonna be good or bad but I talked about how I think um it could go either way and I think that there are going to be like different groups of ants different factions bad good and the good ants are going to try to work together with um Gon Kill One Kite against the evil ants um and the issue is there are ants now who are oh, fuzzies there are ants now that I think are, they're an issue because they're starting to think about the individual versus the group. They're thinking about their individual interests. And when you start to do that, when you start to put your own personal desires ahead of, or put what's best for you and your personal desires ahead of what's best for the group, that's when shit starts to be a problem because like what we saw and what Colt mentioned, you know, they're going to stop listening to the chain of command. Um, it's just going to start getting really messy. Your, your goal, which I, I, it started out with, okay, let's just continue our lineage. Uh, now it's kind of turning into whatever that personal aunt wants. You know, some want to, um, and this is based on, I think, like the human being they were um, made with and also the animal. Like, for example, the cheetah. It, like the chase makes sense she just they run to catch their prey but um what i'm saying is i think the the humans that they are made from affect how they turn out so um like with cult he was an ant he was he was made from a boy who his the whole thing his whole like identity was based around what we only saw him for a few minutes but this is what i got his his goal in life was to provide for his family and protect them right put them first which is exactly what he's doing with the queen like he's trying to do what's best for his queen his mom so i'm thinking at some point he's gonna have to choose between his different moms the queen aunt and like his his human mother so anyway i just want to recap like everything i was breaking down last time uh before we go into this because i think that's I want, I want you to know where I'm at so that you can see how my thought process develops as I see more of this arc. This arc I find so fucking interesting, dude. It's so complex. And the fact of, like, I like how each, I like how each ant is becoming their own person, but at the same time, that is a problem because when you're, like, you, 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 when you're a bug like this, well, with any community, really, I mean, you want people to work together. They're not really doing that anymore. They're kind of just doing whatever they want. And so, I don't know, it kind of, and with more human, um, with the more human-like qualities that they adopt, I think they're going to adopt our, um, our desires as well, which you kind of already see. But what I'm trying to get at is, I think eventually, instead of just trying to, like, continue their, their line, I think eventually they're going to want to, like, build their own empire or, like, nation, whatever. Um, because they're just going to, like, want their own little part of the world. Like, they're not going to want to just stay hidden underground or wherever, right? Um, because they are more human 
it seems than ant at this point, at least in the way that they think. So that could be an issue. Like that could be a reason why they go to war because they're gonna have to fight for that. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but um, yeah. And I think they're gonna be able to use Nen because they are made from humans, partly, and humans can use Nen. So yeah. Anyway, because there was I'm sorry the intro's so long, but there are things that I was thinking about afterwards that I wanted to add on here just so you know what I was thinking and now we have to deal with this drug ring and that village is really sketchy and I feel like they're hiding something and that guy is keeping them if you didn't see this uh I probably won't wouldn't have said this on YouTube I just added it as like um like a comment on Patreon but I feel like the guy or woman or whoever created this this village is um trying to hide something because it makes sense, I'm like, why you don't want tech in here? Like, you don't want, you want the people in the world to think it's just this, like, uh, more primitive, um, town, but in reality, and, like, it, it's like a, um, I don't know that word, but, like, it's like two birds with one stone, right? Uh, He's keeping the townspeople stupid, ignorant, I should say, so I don't want to call them stupid, um, <laughs> ignorant, because then they won't be, like, looking around for maybe whatever they're trying to hide there, but also you don't want tech in there because you don't want people recording it and, like, it getting out to the world because then maybe people would want to come in here and find whatever you're hiding. I don't know if it's, like, the drug ring has anything to do with it, this might, they just might be doing their own thing here, but maybe I'm overthinking things, but I just find it really weird on, like, why you don't want technology in there. I don't, I think it goes past just preserving it, like, their whole, um, culture, the way they want to live. I, there's just something fishy about it. It, it seems a little bit too, like, too much, let's keep things hush-hush, you know? Anyway, but yeah, other than that, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell right there to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below. So yeah, check that out if you have time or if you're interested. Boom. Other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. So yeah, there's a direct correlation between the human you were made with and how you turn out. So you definitely adopt their, um, personality traits. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. You got your, you're inheriting their genes, so. Um, wow. Holy shit, dude. I, uh, mm, I, um, uh, that's, that's what I have to say about that. Um, uh, Oh my, okay, break it down, break it down, bitch. Um, I, I figured this was gonna happen, right? I figured that they were going to, um, advance quickly, which they have. I figured that they were going to start going fucking crazy, absolutely bonkers. They just went, they flew off the handle. These, these ants are going to be so hard to rein in. She's pumping out babies so quickly, too. Yes, weakness. Go for the queen. I I like how they mention that, too. Like, if they figure out our weakness, which is the queen, we are fucked because then we can't make it. Once you run out, you run, once you kill all of us, that's it. And I don't know if she gave birth to the next queen or not yet. But they, I feel like they should have announced that or whatever, something. Like, I don't... I don't know. I'm starting to feel like this. <coughs> the next queen is not even going to be important. They haven't touched on it much anymore, so maybe maybe not. Um, what else? I didn't think that. What's her fucking name? Pongu. Pong. I fuck. Can't remember her name. But the 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 venom girl, the one who had a bunch of toxins. That was her thing. The one that was eaten. I didn't think she was going to get eaten. I thought she was going to be fine. I thought she was going to get away. No, nope. all she did was get the message out. But at least she got the message out. Now they're aware. Um, I wish she would have said that, like... I wish she would have been more descriptive 
of the ants, but I, I don't know. They're smart. They figured it out on their own. Um, wow. I didn't think that the underground drug ring was going to be that big of a deal. Like, I didn't think... They made it seem like they were, like, the most vile people on, the, like, planet Earth. Or some of the, the most vile. I didn't think they, <clears throat> they were that bad. I mean, they didn't seem like it. Maybe, like, I don't know. It seemed like they couldn't even use men, so... I didn't think they'd be... Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't think that they'd be that much of a threat. But I guess I'm wrong. Because Kite seems pretty worried about it, but... Um, that backstory this, this episode, I think, was definitely there. Because they want... They wanted to give you a bit of background on the who the king's gonna be made from. This is my theory. I don't know for sure. I didn't get spoiled on, like, anything in this Chimerian arc. Um, so, yeah. I think he's, um... And this is, it's like... I pity him. I, I feel like I can't blame him that much for the way he turned out. It's just sad. It's... I, I pity him. This is the best way for, that I can think to describe how I'm feeling right now. I pity him. Um, that doesn't excuse his behavior, though. I'm not saying, I don't know what he did, but I'm, I have a feeling, since this guy, I feel like the point that I drove across was, he was pretty fucked up. He did some fucked up shit. I have a feeling that that's gonna have, um, 100%. I'm 100% sure on this now. If he's made into the king, which I feel like I'm 100% certain that he's going to be, otherwise this would be pointless. I'm 100% certain that this, the way that he grew up, his perspectives, everything, the way he deals with things, that's going to be directly, um, that's going to directly affect how the king turns out. Like, I think he's going to be almost like a, a carbon copy in the way they think and feel and react to things so um and their desires like he was a king he built his own kingdom you know like maybe not like how you typically think of it but he built his own empire right his, his drug ring he built the ngl both really he's king of both um so that didn't turn out into a bigger thing i thought the shit was gonna be more sus than it was but i guess the village is just it just it's just that they just want to preserve its it's like, um, it's almost like they're fucking, like, stop it in a history, uh, museum, like, they're, <laughs> like, um, it kind of reminds me of, like, Night at the Museum, you know how they had the, um, the little, like, displays where they, um, they show, like, the little care like, little people that they built, uh, or, like, made and painted them into, like, the cowboys or, like, the, like, the Romans. It's like that, but like brought to life. Oh, it's like, it's like Brainiac, how he like takes cities. <laughs> it's like basically, but we're just, <clears throat> he preserves it. <clears throat> My throat's dry, I need something to drink. But uh, anyway, it just reminded me of that. Um, but yeah. Um, what else? Anything else about this episode that I want to talk about? And if he turns out to be like, if this guy, if this king, Ant, turns out to be, like, the human he's made from, I, he's definitely gonna want to build another empire. His ambitions are gonna be probably even greater. But it's like, so, with the ants now, you know? I don't know if he's gonna want to take over the world or anything, but he might feel like they should, because they are, uh, the, uh, in the, in the, ugh, ooh, what do I say, like, in the food chain or in the hierarchy, they, he's probably gonna say, we're at the top. We're the best of the best. You know, we're like, um, um, we're the, we're the paragons of the world. Like, like, evolutions. Like, they're at the peak. Um, perfection, right? Like, they can't get any better. This is, like, what people should strive for, us. So, he's probably gonna, what is that, like, uh, oh, oh, oh. He's, he's gonna be... Wrote this down. Right? No, no. Before I say it, before I say it, sh chauvinistic, right? Yeah. Cause I I realized my mom was like, 
she would say that word a lot and I'm like I think I know what it means because she said it so long but like I want to make sure I'm right but yeah chauvinistic like isn't that like uh feeling like a sense of superiority over others because I was like I need to write this down for attack on titan let's make sure before I sound stupid come on hurry up chauvinism yeah feeling of superior oh I wrote it down <laughs> I wrote down the definition I didn't know I wrote it down but yeah that's um I told you I'm gonna start working on my vocab words guys just build it up day by day even if you just learn one word a day but I gotta make sure I'm using it properly though but that that's that, that's how he's gonna be like he's gonna be um another word what like egotistical yeah uh he's he's gonna be really greedy I think I said this before but I'm serious. I'm serious now. Like, I think it's not going to end with him just wanting to build this empire. He actually might take it to the length of, yeah, let's take over the world. We're the best species out there. With No one comes close to us. We we should be in control. We should be in power. Blah, 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 blah. blah. It's going to turn into something like that. Okay, Marley. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let me shut up. Let me stop there. Uh, remember to... No. I already said that in the beginning. I'm going to stop saying that, like, before and after. Especially in Hunter Hunter. I say it, like, four times. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get out of here, guys. And I will catch you in the next reaction.